Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody is staying safe and taking care of themselves during this difficult time. As you can tell in today's video, I will be doing something completely different than what I usually do here on my channel, which is post about DIYs and room makeovers. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys some really good designer tips on how to pick the perfect curtain for your space. So let's get started. So before I start with the actual curtain themselves, let's talk about the curtain rod. What type of curtain rod should you pick for your space? The type of decorative rod that you use for your space should relate to the aesthetic and functionality of the room. Here are some few options. The classic rod is basically an adjustable pole often featuring ornamental end caps which we call as finials. And then this rod attaches to the wall with brackets. This is a very common option and looks good in any room setting and if you want to add shears or layer shears, you can also buy a double curtain rod. So a written rod is basically an adjustable U-shaped rod that screws directly into the wall and you don't need any brackets for this one. And the curtain panels will then wrap around the curved sides making this a really great solution for blocking out light and reducing noise. It can also be mounted on the ceiling if you want. This type of rod will look great in an industrial or farmhouse kind of aesthetic and is a great option for casual spaces like a cafe too. For a track rod, this is where the drapery hooks will attach to pulleys inside a track and it can be installed either on a wall or the ceiling and the curtains will glide really effortlessly. It gives a very polished feel and if you are someone that has like either a modern or contemporary space, this is a definite option for you. To be honest, these actually look great in any room, especially formal spaces like living and dining rooms. A bonus tip is pick your metal rod to match the finishes of your space. Now let's talk about the actual curtains themselves. Let's talk about the length. There are three different types of length which are mainly called as the seal length, apron length and the floor length. Now the seal length is where the curtain touches the window seal. This is a great option when you have a piece of furniture like a desk that is mounted on the wall directly under the window. Now to achieve the apron length, the curtain should be at least 4 to 6 inches below the window seal and this is a great option when you have either like a bench or a chair under the window or in a kids playroom because kids tend to wipe their dirty hands on curtains or even paint. Now the floor length has 4 different options or styles. These are called as kiss puddle, brick puddle and float. Now the kiss is where the curtain barely just kisses the floor meaning it is perfectly above the floor. It gives a very polished and tailored look and very hard to get to be honest because it requires very precise measurements. This is a great option for formal spaces like dining and living rooms. Next is the puddle. This style is very dramatic and romantic and to achieve this look add about 3 to 4 inches to the curtain length. This is great for formal spaces like a dining room and even a bedroom if you want to have that romantic kind of feel. However, this is not a good option if you leave somewhere where there is a lot of dust as these require frequent cleaning. Also not a good option for spaces that have a lot of traffic as there is a tendency to trip and fall. The third one is brick puddle. This is where the curtain breaks right at the floor and is somewhere between the kiss and the puddle. This creates a very dynamic and lived in kind of effect and to achieve this add about 1 to 2 inches to your curtain length. This is a great option for casual spaces like bedrooms, study rooms or even sunrooms. Last is the float. This is a slightly less formal style and can be achieved by reducing your curtain lens by maybe an inch to half an inch from the floor. I would recommend using this in a space where you would have to open and close the curtains very frequently like in a bedroom. Next, let's talk about the texture or the actual fabric of the curtain itself. 
The texture or the actual fabric that you want to pick depends on the mood or the vibe that you want to achieve in a space. For a formal space, use heavy silk, velvet, satin, rayon or even a blend of satin and rayon if you can get your hands on that. These give a very luxe and high-end look. For a less formal or casual space, linen, sheer, crushed velvets and cotton are a great option. Next, let's talk about prints and patterns. Now, when it comes to prints and patterns, a good rule of thumb is if you have patterned furniture or bedding or very elaborate rug, stick with solid curtains. But if you have solid colored furniture or bedding, consider patterned curtains. If you want a subtle pattern, go for a small neutral print like dots or small lines which look like texture from afar. Do not go overboard with too many patterns in a space as it will lead to visual clutter. Next is color. If you have plain white walls, going with a bold and dark color is a great option. But if you have colored walls, try to stick with whites as they add a bit of lightness and airiness to the space. Last but not the least is curtain heading or style. There are quite a few styles when it comes to curtains, but here are some common options. To achieve this style, the curtains need to be mounted on a track rod. It is highly functional and the ripples always stay in shape while the curtains glide easily. This style is perfect for extra large and floor to ceiling windows for a modern and sleek aesthetic. This is a classic style for a very luxurious and fuller look. It is very elegant and has a very formal feel. This is highly functional for curtains that are used very often. However, to achieve this style, it would require you to use more material than your usual curtain panel. This style creates beautiful clean lines making it perfect for modern and contemporary interiors. Besides looking good, these type of curtains are very easy to install and these work only with curtain rods, not curtain tracks. This is the most classic and common of all methods of hanging curtains. A rod pocket is a sewn in pocket or a casing at the top of a curtain panel that slips over the rod and conceals it. Curtain panels hung this way bunch very nicely and have a very simple casual look. This however is not recommended for everyday sliding especially thicker fabrics. Tab top curtains are curtains with fabric loops or tabs at the top edge or head and they are then threaded through the pole or rod. These look great in a simple farmhouse, coastal, retro or bohemian chic aesthetic. However, like the rod pocket style, these are difficult to draw and are not suitable for regular use. If you guys enjoyed this content and found it informative, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys next time.